Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Today we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy and actually I'm going to do something very interesting but first uh, let me tell you that uh, we need to welcome our new followers and subscribers in this channel and if you guys wish to know the strategy I'm about to use in this video please go to my channel Extreme Trader and you can look here and you can find this video right here uh, in this video I have explained in brief the strategy of uh, using the 20 pips a day uh, the best forex strategy how to make 20 pips every day I have explained how to use support and resistance uh, in this strategy and I believe it is one of the strongest uh, strategies ever in Forex uh, it's mainly for scalping anyway uh, going back to the trade I just wanted to share with you that I am right now on the 15 minute time frame on the pound AUD and you can notice what I did right here I have placed a buy order there is a reason for that because I'm certainly sure the pair is not gonna make the, rever the bearish reversal until it hit that previous resistance level right there the pair is gonna continue the rise after this engulfing uh, bullish candle right here and the candle uh, the next candle is just retesting the broken support level right here I think and then it's gonna continue the rise and that's why I'm actually intending to place a sell order right on this blue line now I just wanted to give you example if you really can understand how this market moves um, you can actually make a lot of profits and you can actually enjoy trading and uh, you can spend your day just scalping the market now the thing here I wanted to say is uh, learning the strategy alone is not enough you also need to get more experience in this field you need more experience in trading forex and once you gain that you can do what I like what I'm doing right now uh, from my experience I can tell that the market is gonna continue the rise you can let the candle go down against me as long as it wants and uh, eventually in the end this candle is gonna continue the rise hitting that previous uh, resistance level after this bearish breakout candle and if we look at the left <coughs> we see that this is the nearest resistance to this bearish breakout candle and for sure the candle uh, is gonna reverse after hitting that level and it's gonna continue the fall therefore uh, I'm gonna set right here a pending order a sell pending order as you can see as I told you my friends the candle is reversing so I'm just trying to get as much uh, possible pip, as much uh, pips as possible so uh, the account right now is $676 total made was $176 so it's okay and look at that the candle is going as expected and it is perfectly fine by the way you can notice that uh, my trade has been o or my trade was opened uh, or the buy order was triggered exactly on the current price of the level of uh, because I'm using uh, uh, IC markets in my opinion IC markets is the best Forex broker in the world you can look at the spread I mean they are really low they are all most of them actually uh, less than one pip and that is fantastic for a scalper um, I have been I have been using IC markets since more than four years and uh, honestly speaking I have no intention at all to move to another broker I believe they are the best in the world I mean withdrawals are quite fast uh, deposit is immediate and the help desk is great um, the servers are fast I mean everything I want in a forex broker I can find in IC markets and I would uh, I would really like to appreciate your support if you can open uh, the account in IC markets using the link provided in the description below this video please click that link open account in IC markets and you can enjoy the experience uh, as exactly what I'm doing right here so uh, waiting for this candle to move and go up and hit the next sell order let me try to find another setup now let's take a look at what's happening for the pound and ZD now the pound and ZD seems like actually I'm gonna place the buy order as well ah you see I'm late I'm late I, wa I was going to place the buy order when the candle was here uh, it was very obvious obvious for me that the candle has made the bullish reversal because on the pound and ZD we can notice that the market has made all these reversals from the support now that simply means that the candle has 
no way to go but up that is actually one of the most obvious and um, clear setups in my opinion that y you just think about it can you place any sell order right here absolutely no you cannot place sell order right here I it's obvious that the, m the market has made this bullish reversal and that can be seen by this bullish engulfing candle and we can see that the pair has rev has just reversed from the support right here and also that explains one mistake that uh, beginners falling to when they are following my strategy they just look randomly to any bearish breakout candle and they just assume huh I have a resistance here let me place the sell all right maybe you are right sometimes because look at that we can see that um, if we look at this bearish breakout candle if we look at the left we can see that we had here a resistance and the market has reversed right here so this right here was resistance number one and right now the market seem seemingly trying to create a resistance number two now in my opinion resistance number two is not gonna work out and the market is eventually gonna um, gonna uh, continue the rise and is gonna rise all the way until it hit that previous resistance very similar to the pound AUD but this time with the pound NZD and we can expect for the pair to rise for 15 pips before the reversal now the thing is once the market reach that level of the previous resistance at the first time to create the resistance number one I'm going to place sell order just like that fantastic very beautiful and very simple that is exactly what I want and from this uh, first trade we can aim approximately 11 pips of profit so everything is great so far let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you uh, once I find another setup to enter and we are still with the pound pairs and again I found a good setup for the pound cad and the very same th very same thing I'm gonna do with the pound cad I'm gonna place the buy order because it's very obvious that the pair is gonna continue the rise until it hit that resistance level right there before it reverse again if we look at the left we can see that we had here a strong resistance level number one two and three and right now the market is going up all the way to hit these levels of the resistance again now why did I place the buy order right here exactly because on the left we can see that we had here uh, a previous support level right here we can see the support level right here and right here as well and not to mention of course that the pair after let me just show you that let me show you on the one minute time frame on the one minute time frame we can see that we had right here the previous support level and the candle has already reversed right here therefore the trend is going up and I believe the candle is gonna continue the rise I know this setup might not be very clear and might be confused but however sorry because I'm trading on my account and that is my money so I just want to make some profits as much as possible and I'm trying to get uh, as many pips as I can therefore I have placed the trade right like that I could have simply told you that we need to wait for the market to reach that level before we start uh, selling it but I thought if you know it's going up then why don't you place the buy since on the 15 minute time frame on the pound CAD you can see that you are clearly on a strong support level that means the market is gonna continue the rise and it's gonna hit that previous resistance and then it's gonna fall down so why don't you just place the buy order in uh, while you are waiting for the candle to reverse or to go down to the resistance and that is exactly what I have done in all of these trades you might think my trade is wrong entry however it is not that is totally normal it's very normal that your trade might be in loss first before you be in profit if you think you will always be in profit immediately after opening the trade then I have a bad news for you it's not gonna work all the time um, I'm thinking to do something else actually I think um, I'm gonna cancel the pending order I hate pending orders to be honest and I like to open the trades and actually I prefer to do everything manually from stop loss to take profit everything I like to do it manually so uh, that being said let me now pause the video and I will show you what will gonna happen with these trades and as you can see as I told my friends 
pound AUD has hit the take profit level and I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna replace it right now with another sell order exactly what I said happened that is that's beautiful I, I like it okay now let's see what will gonna happen next since I have placed this sell order right here I'm gonna set my my take profit to be at the nearest support level now I'm certainly sure that the pair is not going uh, not gonna continue to rise because the resistance right here is quite strong and the bearish uh, breakout here is as strong as well and most likely that rever that resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance at least for the first attempt we can expect from this uh, setup at least a resistance number one meaning a first attempt of a resistance before it might reverse and continue the rise that is what I'm talking about that is the power of my strategy um, to find the reversals to find the shock of the candles once they touch these strong resistance or support levels they're gonna react strongly to that they gonna make a strong uh, a reversal and then I really don't care what's gonna happen next the pair might continue falling down it might actually reverse and continue the rise I really don't give a sh shit I don't care okay all what I care for is to uh, get this uh, bounces here from uh, touching these levels and um, of course since I have I'm on the 50 minute time frame and since I have opened my trade of sell right of that previous support I can set this one here because this one is the nearest support to my entry so that has been selected as the take profit level and we are looking for approximately 11 pips of profit now let me do something crazy now since I'm sure that it's gonna reverse at this point from my experience and using this strategy for a long time what I'm going to do is open another trade so I have opened two trades uh, for selling the pound AUD the first one with the tech profit of 10 pips the other one is 11 pips I think I think 11 pips right yes 11 pips meaning 21 pips I'm gonna make from this trade uh, that is one of the techniques I'm using when I see that the nearest support is not giving me 20 pips and I really trust the setup and I think it's very profitable and I want to earn as much uh, money as I want as, as I can from this setup uh, what I do like uh, usually is like that I open two trades at the same time with two take profits uh, that is completely not recommended for the beginners and those who are fresh in this market um, I am just doing that because this is my money this is my account I am on my live account right now and I want to make money while recording so I cannot really uh, miss this opportunity for just 11 pips no 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 way anyway we are having right now all these running trades uh, let's check them now one by one uh, pound and ZD is rising as expected it's gonna continue the rise as I told you until it hit that resistance level um, pound CAD is still ranging at the support level eventually I'm sure it's gonna continue the rise and for the pound AUD it's gonna fall to hit our tech profit at the nearest support before continue the rise or fall great so let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these trades so let me <coughs> just tell you what's happening right now <coughs> as you can see <coughs> sorry hold on so uh, looking at the pound AUD we can see that the pair right now is at the support level and uh, let me just tell you my friends that this is ex ex actually the support level because that is the right way to draw the line so the pair is actually right now on the support level therefore I have to close that trade right now and accept a $20 of profit from this trade and by that now the account is above $700 and right now we can go back to the other trades of the pound NZD and pound CAD and we can actually uh, resume uh, the reversal now looking here at the pound CAD we can see that the pair has uh, reached that previous support level actually I'm gonna place another buy order I'm not greedy but I just got the feeling that this trade is really perfect and it's a waste to open just one trade and just get um, $18 profit I think we can aim more than that we can aim at least uh, how much did I say 28 or 
18 plus 18 yeah perfect 36 dollars we can aim from this trade and for this one here i'm not really gonna open another trade because pound and zd uh, i don't see really any support level here i can rely on to open the other trade it's unlike the pound cad for the pound cad it's really obvious that we are having right here a strong support levels and most likely the pair right now is gonna reverse at these levels and gonna continue the rise all the way until it hit that resistance level meanwhile pound and zd don't really have that much of supports on the left to rely on therefore i'm not gonna open another buy order uh, three is enough so far and yes i think that's all let me now pause the video and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the remaining trades all right so let me tell you what's happening right now but before that i'm gonna open another trade for the pound and zd now uh, for the pound and zd uh, it has uh, <coughs> changed because right now the pair has finally went down all the way hitting the previous support level right there which was also a support here as well and right there now now seeing that let me just zoom in now seeing that we can see right here we had a support number one which was also previously a resistance that resistance has been immediately breaking out and the market is now going down to create a support number two now it's remarkable here that we are on the 15 minute time frame let's go to the 30 minute time frame and what we can see here now is even more clear that if i want to mark in the past the levels of the previous resistance and support it's exactly right there it might look confused for others but however for me it really is very clear we can see here we had the resistance which was uh, which has become later a support and here it is also a support and right here it was also a resistance and right here and here and right here a resistance as well therefore we can see that we had here the pin bar that indicates that definitely the market is gonna continue the rise and is gonna go all the way up here to hit that resistance level now uh, everything is going fine look at that perfect um pound cad is very close to the tech profit level it's just like uh two or three pips away and i think right now we are having about um 30 dollars profit but i'm just waiting for the pair I think I will not do the same mistake I did before. Yes, perfect. That's enough. That's enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's fair enough. Yes. It's already there at the tech profit level. And please notice something. The beautiful thing about these trades I took here, it's only based on my knowledge about how the market is going to move. I did not take the reversals themselves. I just take uh, the direction of the market. And it was obvious for me. It's going to uh, continue the rising all the way to hit the resistance levels before continue falling. So right now we have remaining only the pound and the D. Now I need to pause the video and I'll be back to you later, my friends, to show you what will going to happen with the pound and the D. And as you can see, the pound and the D now is rising and is getting uh, closer to the take profit level. And I believe I'm going to close the trade right now because I am done with this uh, live session and I want to end it. And right now, $27. Actually, that is fine. And as we can see, the pair has almost reached the resistance level on the left, as we can see right there. The beautiful thing about this uh, trading session, it was not based on the reversals. It was based on my knowledge about knowing where the market is going. And that is exactly what I am trying to explain to you in this video. Since we had this bearish breakout candle, and the trend is going down most likely 90 percent of the time the market will always retest the broken levels of support and resistance and since we can see that here on the pound and zd uh, we had the pin bar it meant that the, the trend or the candles are going to continue the rise and since we are seeing this resistance level it was clear for me that the pair is going to continue rising all the way until it hit that resistance be and before that or sorry after that I really don't care what will gonna happen actually it might continue rising all the way to hit the resistance level right here or it might continue the reversal honestly I really don't care since I have gotten out with this trade of this trade sorry with a good profit so uh, good profit have been made uh, in this uh, live trading session and 
I hope you guys have learned more about my strategy watching this video and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.